Well, it's been a spirited reply from Namibia based of a huge score put on by Pakistan. We wanted them to show some fight and they've done exactly that in their first 10 overs. 70 for two in 10 overs. Stefan Bard, unfortunately, run out was really good for 29. And Captain Erasmus has come out looking very positive, hitting Shadab for a six and a four at the very start of his innings. A wicket to Hassan Ali and one run out. Nothing so far from the key bowlers, Shahin Shah Fridi mm -hmm. and Haris Rauf. Joined by Simon Dool. Dooley, 30 overs of the game done so far. Namibia have 120 out of 30. And I think that itself is credit for them. It's a different matter. Pakistan took full advantage of the remaining 10 overs. Yeah, they did. Um, look, it's a great start. Uh, even 29 off 29 and 22 off 23 for uh, Williams, who's there at the moment. A little bit slow, but um, you, when you think about what Pakistan did uh, and how slow they were through that first half and that first 10 overs, it's significantly better. Uh, Gerhard Erasmus has, has come out and he's sort of shown his intent right from the start. And that's what we asked for. We asked for intent, didn't we? Uh, nothing for Van Lingen up front, but um, we asked for them to show intent to go after the score. They've still got the likes of Visa and JJ Smith to come, who are both very powerful players. So put themselves in a position where, you know, they might be able to get close to this uh, this total or even, dare I say it, um, win the game. Uh, it would be it would be an amazing effort if they can continue down this road. They just need to continue to try and, and continue to, to be aggressive, play some shots, take it to Pakistan and see what happens. Yeah, you'd still have to say Pakistan are overwhelming favourites. We had a similar situation with uh, with Sri Lanka as well against England. They were 19 runs ahead of England at that stage, but it was still England who were, who were overwhelming favourites. Quick look at the bowling card for Pakistan so far. They'd be a little disappointed in the opening effort of Shahin Shah Afridi. Just the one over for Harris Rauf. Not much to judge from there. Wonderful throw to get that run out. But otherwise, you mentioned, you called it, Hassan Ali... His kind of bowling might be suited for the surface. And he's certainly been the been the best on view, along with the spinners. Yeah, he has been picking the bowlers, hasn't he? Ahmad Wazim's always going to be quite tight. He very rarely does any team get a hold of Ahmad. Um, Hassan Ali, just that little bit of nip. And that's what I thought with this type of surface, that 130, mid 130 Ks, with a little bit of nip and, and hitting the seam, would be perfect. One thing I have seen, and I wonder with Shaheen Shah Afridi, after that first game, when he bowled so beautifully, he really looked like he tried to bowl. He's trying to bowl out and out express now. He's just trying to bowl almost too quick. Um, he did the same against New Zealand a little bit. Uh, so, you know, that may be something he just, when he, he bowls quick enough when he just glides to the crease and, and, and just looks to get that rhythm going. Then he still bowls quick enough. He still bowls at 140. So when you're trying to bowl that little bit faster, sometimes it actually doesn't come out faster. So maybe just needs to just throttle back a touch and really get that rhythm going and be strong through the crease. And maybe that pace will actually get back up to where, where we're used to seeing it. But it just looks like he's hustling a little bit too much at this stage. The interesting observation there from, from the fast bowler on the panel. But a quick observation on Harris Ralph. I know he's just bowled the one over. He's going to have three in the back ten. Is there anything he needs to do differently just to make sure Namibia don't even have entertained thoughts of this total? Um, no, no, look, just come in and bowl fast. As long as he's bowling accurately, you're going to see the odd wide from um, from Harris Ralph. And when he gets it slightly wrong, that leg stump one that was just picked up for six, it's going to happen because he's bowling at 145 to 150 clicks when he gets it slightly wrong. Just keep that length. That if he's bowling in the middle, he's bowling an over now, actually. So just keep that length right. Don't go, don't go just full and just short. Try and bowl a nice length. You'll still hurry these guys up. Use the bouncer well and use the Yorker sparingly. But how about that shot? I know it was on on leg stump for six, but the fact is, it's got Harris Ralph written all over it. And to have the audacity to flick him into the grass bank, that's something he's going to tell the grandkids. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, they'll, they'd love to tell the grandkids that actually that helped them beat Pakistan. That would be the story to, to end all stories. So, you know, it, it's about continuing on uh, from just that one shot. But she was a cracking shot. And all the pace on the ball, just a little flick and great timing. And yet... Uh, from, from Namibia's point of view, they've got the experienced hands in the likes of uh, Visa and uh, Smith to come. So they want to just keep going in this fashion. And, and as you said, do what they did for the first 10 overs. They may not get over the line in terms of runs, but they'd like to finish on, on a real high at the end of 20 overs. 
Yeah, look, the deeper they take this game with wickets in hand, the more Pakistan start to really worry. That's the key. And, and the longer that, that Namibia can take this game with two wickets down, maybe three at the most, uh, even if they need 12, 13, 14 and over for the last three or four, the longer and the deeper they can take it with two and three wickets down, the more that Pakistan will panic. Because this is a game that Pakistan were overwhelming favourites to win. Namibia have absolutely nothing to lose. So Pakistan then start to panic a little bit at the back end if Namibia can take it deep. So that's their goal. Yeah, that's just the last factor. We we saw how much dew came in between uh, England and Sri Lanka. Doesn't seem to be quite that. We're not seeing the towels out. And uh, just after drinks, Harris Rauf has come in bowl a far more improved over. Just conceded the single of the last ball of his over. So I think already things starting to turn back towards Pakistan's way. If it doesn't get soaked, I think you'd, they'd be overwhelming favourites to finish off by at least maybe 40 runs. Yeah, I would think so. I mean, it, it, as you say, it's, uh, it's all up to Namibia to try and take it as deep as they possibly can. Pakistan, they just need to keep chipping away at wickets, deny the runs a little bit, shut them down, and then Namibia will have to start playing some more shots against perhaps an, an Ahmad or a Shaheen when he comes back, or even Shadab. So, yeah, it, it's all about a few wickets for, or a couple of wickets for Pakistan, stem the flow of runs for Namibia, keep wickets in hand, take it as deep as possible. Four out of the nine overs will be bowled between Harris Rauf and Shine Shah Afridi. A different kind of test for Pakistan's bowlers because they've opted to try and see how they can defend the total. Lots to talk about when we come back at the end. That's all from Cricket Buzz Combox. Mm-hmm.